we're going to find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you, may you find your position. For we are using our easy seat to help relax and wind down the mind and body here today. Ensuring that our tummies are tucked in at our navels. Spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken. Having control of that back. Relaxing the shoulders downward away from the ears. This allows us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. With our heart chakra open, our chin slightly up. We can slightly gaze our eyes downward or close our eyes if that feels good for us. As we take a nice deep intentional breath in, exhale. Breathe in deeply, exhale fully. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. Three breaths of silence. As we flow our palms above our heads, coming into that seated salute, palms are above. They are together. We can interlace our fingers if we choose with that pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Lifting those shoulders up towards the ears, elongating that spine. Keeping their heart lifted, the chin slightly up. We're going to slightly allow our arms to flow towards the back of the room just a little. Feeling that in the upper parts of your body. Feeling that in your lumbar spine. That chest, the heart chakra is lifted. Taking a nice breath. Exhale. Flowing back to center. We're going to separate those palms. We are in our seated extended mountain. When our palms are separated, it is a seated extended mountain. When our palms are together, it is that seated salute. So just taking a moment to notice the difference between that seated salute and that extended mountain. Keeping those palms up towards the heavens. That chin is up. Heart chakra is open. Taking a nice deep breath in through the mouth. Exhale through the nose. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. As we twist the body towards the right, palms come downward towards the earth. We're going to gaze over that right shoulder, coming into that seated twist, optioning to breathe that left hand to that right knee, coming deeper in that twist. Noticing how this pose relaxes and soothes that spinal cord. We are decompressing that spine. Four breaths. Two breaths. We're going to exhale back to center, coming into that seated star. In that star, our palms are outward towards the side. We are in that star. Bringing those palms to the side just like a star. Yes. This is slightly different from that seated extended mountain when our palms were above our head but not together. That is the seated extended mountain. Seated star, palms are out towards the side. Just taking a moment to notice the difference between these poses, for they all look similar, but they are not the exact same pose. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale, twist the body towards the left. Palms come downward towards the earth. Gazing over that left shoulder. Seated twist, opposite sides. Optioning to breathe that right hand to that left knee. Going deeper in that twist. Eyes are gazed down to closed. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale them back to center, coming into that star. Heart chakras up. Chakras lifted, chin is up. Going into that extended mountain. Palms are above the head. They are not together. Exhale into that seated salute. Breathing those palms together. Breathing down to prayer. Palms come heart center. Relaxing those palms down. Allowing those shoulders to relax downward away from the ears. Eyes are gazed down and closed. As we use this time to thank ourselves for practicing yoga here today, taking a little bit of time for self. Three breaths of silence.
Breathe in. Exhale, relaxing the palms onto the earth. Palms come flat down to the yoga mat. We are connected to the earth here. Backs are straight, shoulders are relaxed down. That heart chakra is open, that chin is up. As we connect our palms to the earth, we are taking the time to connect to our environment. Taking the time to notice what is going on around us right here, right now, in our present moment, simply being aware without judgment. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. Four more breaths. Two breaths. As we flow our feet into a bound position, coming into that diamond or that butterfly, this bound position is allowing us to open up those hip flexors here. Now, in that diamond, our feet are further away from our bodies. In our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. So both poses look very similar, diamond and butterfly, except that butterfly is just a little bit more of a deeper hip flexor. So just doing the pose that feels best for you. With the bottoms of our feet connecting, maybe we can breathe our palms, our hands to our feet. Taking a moment to squeeze our toes, to squeeze our feet to play with our feet, playing footsies, just showing our feet some love for our feet carries us everywhere we go. In this bow position, we are gonna keep our tummies tight, keeping the backs nice and straight. Two more breaths. Finding that pause, we're going to slightly hinge at the hips, just allowing the torso to come closer to the earth. And noticing how when we hinge at the hips, we are coming deeper in that hip flexor here. We are opening up those hips. So only going down as much as your body comfortably allows you to go down to, listening to your body, being mindful how you feel in the pose. And if we've Feel up to it. We can allow our shoulders to melt closer to the earth, just allowing those shoulders to melt forward. The head melts downward towards the feet, coming even deeper in that pose, if that feels good. And we're going to hold this pose. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Using our hands to lift our bodies back up. We are in that bound position. We're going to keep our right leg just the way it is. And we're going to extend that left leg out towards the side. Just breathing it out. Feeling that stretch. Hmm. Keeping that heart chakra open. That chin is up. Just holding on to this pose for two breaths. Just checking in with the body. Noticing how we feel. As we... Slightly lean our bodies towards the left, breathing our hand down to our knee or our ankles or the bottoms of our feet. That torso, torso relaxes over that left thigh. And you'll feel that stretch here in your side body. And we can option to extend that right arm up in the air and flow in that right arm over that head. Coming deeper in that side stretch, if that feels good for you, you may feel a pull behind your legs and your hamstrings in that left leg, maybe. We can hold this pose either with that extended stretch, or we can simply just lean our bodies to the left, whichever feels best for you, four breaths. <sighs> Tummy's nice and tight, two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, straightening that body, coming back into that bound position, diamond or butterfly, bottoms of our feet are connecting, slightly hinging at the hips just a little, keeping that heart chakra open, that chin up, two breaths. 
Exhaling back to center, straightening that body, keeping that left leg the way it is. We're going to straighten that right leg out to the side. Just feeling that stretch. Keeping that back up. Back nice and lengthened here. Chin is up, heart chakra is open. If all feels well within your body, we're going to slightly lean our bodies towards the right, connecting our right hand to our knee, our ankles, or the bottom of our foot. And you'll feel that stretch here in your side body. You'll feel this stretch maybe behind your leg, your right leg in that hamstring. And we can option to slightly gaze up at the heavens, just opening up their heart chakra. Notice when we gaze up at the heavens or slightly gaze over that left shoulder, we are lifting, we are opening up their heart chakra. Also optioning to extend that left arm above the head. We can reach it over the head if we choose and come downward towards that thigh as much as we comfortably can. You may notice one side feels different than the other. Four breaths. Hmm. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to center. We're going to straighten out that left leg. Now we're in that wide legged stance here. Just holding this pose, keeping that back straight, tummies tight, lifting that heart chakra up, lifting that chin up. And we're going to slightly hinge at the hips and we'll feel that stretch behind our legs and our hamstrings. So yes, we are doing poses that is opening up our hip flexors and loosening our hamstrings. And noticing how this feels within your body. Two more breaths. Mm. Exhaling back up, we're gonna breathe our legs together. Backs are nice and straight, staff pose. Toes are pointing upwards towards the heavens. Or we can option to point our toes downward towards the earth. Taking a notice of how it feels when we point our toes up to the heavens. And then when we point those toes downward towards the earth. Keeping that back straight, we're gonna slightly hinge at the hips. We are in that seated half forward fold. Hinging at the hips. You may feel that stretch behind your legs and your hamstrings here. We can option to come into a complete forward fold, connecting our hands to our ankles or the bottoms of our feet, feeling that stretch a little deeper. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Walking your hands up, using your hands to lift your bodies up. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into that seated salute, palms are up above our heads, shoulders lift up towards our ears, elongating that body here. Interlacing those fingers with that pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens, allowing the arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room. That chin is up, heart chakra is open. Exhaling back to center. As we breathe our palms at heart center, prayer holds. Shoulders relax downward away from those ears. We are gaze forward with our eyes slightly gaze downward or closed. Two breaths. We're going to cross our feet at our ankles and we're going to come onto our hands and our knees coming into a tabletop pose. Palms are flat on the earth. Knees are hip distance apart. And we're going to drop that tummy down to the earth, chin slightly up, coming into that cow pose. Noticing how you feel this cow in your lumbar back, your lumbar, your lower spine. Chin is slightly up. And we're going to flow to that cat, tucking that tummy in at the navel. Chin comes to the clavicle. Spinal cord flows up towards the heavens. Cat pose. As we do a couple of cat cows to our natural breath. Three more breaths. Finding our pause at table. 
we're going to extend that right leg towards the back. Just feeling that stretch. Palms are flat on the earth. We are gaze forward. And we're going to pulse or lift that right leg up nice and high, squeezing that gluteus maximus, just lifting it up and maybe pulsing it if that feels good. You'll feel that stretch behind your legs. You're working that gluteus maximus. Pulsing is an option. We can just stay still. Holding this pose or pulsing it up for three more breaths. Two breaths. Now we're going to pulse it. We're going to hold it. We're going to extend that left arm forward. So that right leg's to the back, left arm's forward, sunbird pose. Tummies are nice and tight. We are building strength, working on the balance here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we take a nice deep breath, exhale, breathing that knee to that elbow, feeling that crunch. Back the bird. Knee to elbow, back the bird, knee to elbow, flowing back the bird, two breaths, coming back to table, dropping down to cow, exhale cat, coming back to table as we extend that Left leg towards the back, feeling that stretch. Palms are flat on the earth. Optioning to pulse that leg up and down. Working that gluteus maximus. Working those hamstrings here. Now, if we have a client and we notice that they're kind of unsteady, we can give them the option to stop pulsing and we can lower those left toes down towards the earth. And they're still in a pose. This is just an option to lower those toes down to the earth and extend that right arm. Just an option. We're going to pause for two more breaths. And we're going to find that pause. And we're going to extend that left, that right arm forward. I'm sorry. Right arm is forward. Left leg is to the back. Sunbird opposite side. This is the point where we'll give the our client the option to lower those toes downward towards the earth for balance if needed. Otherwise, we're going to keep that left leg extended. Tummies are nice and tight. Gaze forward. Three breaths. Two breaths. Taking that nice deep breath in. Exhale, knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Coming back to bird, two breaths. Coming back to our tabletop pose. <sighs> We're going to take this right arm and extend it up in the air, breathing that right arm up, gazing at those right fingertips, taking that nice deep breath, opening up that heart chakra as we thread the needle, right arm threads through the left, heart chakra comes downward towards the earth, <sighs> right ear relaxes downward towards the earth, <sighs> those shoulder blades flows towards your yoga mat, feeling that body relax and soothe here. Feeling that twist. Our buttocks is high in the air. You'll feel this pose in your lumbar spine as well, as well as your spinal cord. We can option to wrap that left arm around our backs if we choose. Or we can extend that left arm above our heads flat on the earth if that feels good for you. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale. Feeling those shoulders relax into the yoga mat. Feeling that heart chakra connect. Silent meditation, four breaths. Slowly unwrapping that arm if it was wrapped, coming back to our tabletop pose, dropping down to cow. Exhale, cat. Flowing back to our table as we extend that left arm up in the air, fingertips flows to the heavens. We are gaze up at our fingertips, opening up their heart chakra, taking that nice deep breath. 
Exhale, thread the needle left arm threads through the right heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. Left ear comes towards the earth. Shoulder blades melt forward. That buttocks is high in the air. Eyes are slightly gazed downward or closed. Taking that nice breath. Exhale, relax. Optioning to wrap that right arm around our backs. Or optioning to breathe that right arm up in the air, palms flat on the earth. Whatever feels good for you. Solid meditation for natural breaths. Slowly coming out of that pose, coming back, back to our tabletop pose. Palms are flat on the earth, knees are hip distance apart. Dropping down to that cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our table as we breathe our buttocks towards our heels, coming into that child's pose. Or we can keep our buttocks in the air, coming into a puppy pose as their heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. We can be in an extended puppy pose with our arms flat on the earth. In front of us, extended puppy pose or extended child's pose. We can also option to breathe our palms together and flow them above our head in a prayer hands, child's pose or puppy pose. Continuing to use this time to relax and soothe our bodies as we take that nice deep breath. Exhale. Feel in those shoulder blades, their heart chakra connect to the earth. Silent meditation, four more breaths. Two more breaths. Flowing into that extended child's pose, puppy pose with those palms flat on the earth. We're going to spinal wave our bodies out of our child's pose, puppy pose. Using those palms to wave that body forward, filling that spinal wave and using our palms to wave our buttocks towards the heels of our feet. Spinal waving, working that spinal cord. We can option to also feel the neck. Using that neck like it's building momentum to feel that entire spinal cord flex here. Three more breaths. Tummies are nice and tight. Two more breaths. As we find our pause at center, we're going to push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Optioning to walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. This down dog here builds, builds strength in the upper parts of our bodies, in our shoulders, our back blades, our arms, and we are gazed back at our feet. This here is an inversion pose. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pause and down dog, we're going to shift that weight forward, high plank. Tummies are nice and tight. Still working the upper parts of our bodies here. Two more breaths. Exhale back, down dog, gazing at the feet. Two more breaths. Finding our pause, we're gonna breathe that right foot forward, right foot to right hand, runner's lunge. Right foot to right hand, runner's lunge, feeling that stretch. We're just gonna hold this runner's lunge for two breaths. Checking in with body. As we uh, come into a pyramid pose, straightening that front leg, just feeling that stretch, straightening that front leg here. Yes, we are now in that pyramid pose. Our torsos are relaxed over that right thigh. Head melts downwards towards the knee. 
Shoulders flow downward, just feeling that body stretch. Yes, we will feel that stretch behind our right leg and that hamstring. Our heart chakra is connected to our thigh. This is great for anxiety. It helps regulate the heartbeat as well. Three more breaths. Mm. Exhale back to runner's lunge, bending that knee. Flowing back to down dog, gazing at the feet. Exhale to high plank. Three breaths, two breaths. Exhale back down dog. As we walk that left foot to that left hand, runners lunge opposite side. Just holding this pose for a couple moments, feeling that stretch. <sighs> Exhale to pyramid, straightening that left leg. Torso relaxes over that thigh, head melts down towards that knee. Allowing those shoulders to melt forward as we take that nice breath. Exhale. Still in the body, relax. Three more breaths. Mm. Two breaths. Exhale back to run this lunge, bending at knee. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. Mm. Finding that pause, three-legged dog, right leg flows up towards the heavens, gazing at that right foot, feeling that stretch. Mm. Breathing that right knee to that right elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Two breaths. Exhale, breathing that right foot to that right hand. We are back in that runner's lunge. <sighs> Just for a second here. And we're going to take this, our left arm, and we're going to twist the body towards the left, extending that left arm up in the air. Just feeling that stretch. Side angle. <sighs> Two more breaths. Exhale, breathing that left arm back down to the earth. We are back in that runner's lunge. And now we're gonna twist the body towards the right. Right arm flows up towards the heaven. Revolved twist here. Whenever our body twists towards our thigh, we call it a revolved twist. Right arm flows up towards the heavens. We can gaze up at those fingertips if we choose. Two more breaths. Exhale back, coming to that runner's lunge. Breathe down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog by walking our feet. Finding our paws, three-legged opposite side, left leg flows up to the heaven, gazing at the feet, gazing at the foot. Two more breaths. Exhale, breathing that left knee to that elbow, feeling that crunch, back to three-legged. Knee to elbow, tummies are tight, back to three-legged. Mm. Knee to elbow, back to three-legged. Two breaths. Mm. Exhale, breathing that left foot to that left hand, runner's lunge. Just for a couple moments here. We can breathe this left hand inside of our leg. Let's give that a try. So instead of keeping that left hand outside, let's breathe it inside. Both of our palms are flat on the earth. And we're going to twist that body towards the right. Right arm flows up towards the heavens, gazing at the fingertips or gazing forward. Feeling that twist, low lunge twist. Two more breaths. Exhaling back forward, both palms are flat on the earth. 
If all feels well, twisting that body towards the left. Left arm flows up towards the heavens, feeling that revolve twist. We are lengthening and strengthening here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to center. Both palms are flat on the earth. Exhale, down dog. Dropping down to our dolphin, coming on to our forearms. Buttocks is high in the air. We are gazed at the back of the room. Dolphin pose. This dolphin pose prepares the body for headstand. This is an inversion pose. We are working the lower parts of our bodies, the lower parts of our arms, I'm sorry, our shoulders, our forearms, our back blades. Getting our bodies used to being upside down here. We can option to pulse up and down on our tippy toes if that feels good. Noticing when you pulse up and down, it is like ready to launch your body up into a headstand. We're not gonna do it unless we know how. This is just a prep. Just noticing how this feels. Five breaths. Three more breaths. Dropping down to our knees, coming into a puppy pose, keeping that buttocks high in the air. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. As those shoulder blades melt forward, eyes are gazed downward or closed. Maybe use this time to go inward, focusing on self. Noticing how we feel right here, right now. In our present moment, without judgment, simply being aware. Six breaths of silence. Two more breaths. Slowly coming out, maybe do six spinal waves. Mm. Just loosening up that spine. <sighs> Three more. As we find that pause, coming back to that tabletop, knees are hip distance apart, palms are flat on the earth, dropping down to that cow, chin is slightly up. Exhale to cat. Coming to our table, we're going to cross our feet at our ankles, we're going to come onto our buttocks. It's coming onto our buttocks. Just for a second, we're going to float onto our backs, hugging our knees into our chest. <sighs> Allowing those shoulder blades to connect to the earth. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale. As we extend our legs up in the air, pointing our toes up towards the ceiling, towards the heavens. <clears throat> legs on the wall pose, four breaths. Tummies are nice and tight. Two more breaths. Mm. And we're going to reach down to our toes, breathing our legs towards our torso and feeling that stretch. Kind of like we're doing a plow pose, but we're not going to go into a plow pose. Just breathing those legs towards the torso. Your buttocks might come slightly off the earth. Mm. 
Lifting those legs over the head. Exhale, legs up in the air. And we're going to come into a wide leg. And allowing those legs to come to the side. You'll feel this here in your inner thighs. We are in that reclined wide legged pose, aka straddle pose. Reclined. <sighs> Shoulder blades are connected to the earth. And if we choose, we can connect our hands to our toes or the bottoms of our legs. And notice how that feels in the body. We are still in that reclined position with your hands to toes. Two more breaths. As we breathe our legs back together, legs on the poles. I'm sorry, legs on the wall poles. Breathing our knees to our chest. As we allow our knees to flow towards the left, recline spinal twist. Knees flows to the left. Shoulder blades are connected to the earth. That right arm comes out to the side like a lowercase t. And we can gaze up at the heavens or we can gaze over that right shoulder. Feeling that reclined spinal twist. Allowing the body to relax and soothe. As those shoulder blades connect to the earth. Eyes are gazed downward to closed. As we take a nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Solid meditation, six natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to center, hugging those knees into the chest. As we allow our knees to flow towards the right, recline spinal twist opposite side. Left arm flows out to the side like a lowercase t. And we can gaze over the left shoulder. Or we can gaze up at the heavens. Whichever feels best for you. Shoulder blades are relaxed. Into the earth. Eyes are slightly gazed downward or closed. Taking a nice deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Solid meditation. Six natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to center, hugging those knees into the chest, knees to chest. Keeping those knees high in the air, placing those feet flat on the earth. Placing our palms on the earth next to our buttocks, we're going to flow into a bridge pose. Using our hips to lift that gluteus maximus off the earth. Feeling that gluteus maximus squeeze. We are lifting and rounding the gluteus maximus here, that buttocks muscle. We can option to breathe our palms underneath our buttocks. Walking our shoulder blades towards our spine. Coming even deeper in that ridge if you choose. Optioning to pulse that gluteus maximus up and down. This here is a pelvic tilt. 
lifting that pelvic bone forward, squeezing that gluteus maximus. This pelvic tilt and similar poses are great for people who sit in office chairs all day. We are lifting that pelvic bone forward, filling that gluteus maximus squeeze, nice and tight, eight natural breaths, doing whatever you choose. You can pause it or you can keep it up high and squeeze it. Four more breaths. Two breaths. We're going to pause it down and we're going to squeeze it up nice and tight. Squeeze, squeeze, still in that burn. Buns of still. Squeeze in that gluteus maximus for six breaths. Five. Four, three, two, one. Squeeze it nice and tight. Squeeze, squeeze. Uninterlacing those fingers. Relaxing that gluteus maximus to the earth. Breathing those knees into the chest. This is a counter stretch. Relaxing and soothing the gluteus maximus muscle. Shoulder blades melts to the earth. As we flow into a reverse pigeon, right side, crossing that right leg over that left thigh. Reverse pigeon. And you'll feel that stretch even deeper in that right gluteus maximus. Three breaths. Two breaths. Mm. Exhaling back to knees to chest. Reverse pigeon, opposite side, crossing that left Leg over that right thigh, breathing those legs towards the torso. You'll feel a gluteus maximus stretch in the left buttocks. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to knees to chest. Crossing our feet at our ankles. Our tummies are nice and tight. As we crunch up, lifting that body up, feeling that crunch. Boat pose. We can keep our feet crossed in our boat. We can have them side by side. We can come into that nice extended boat. Whatever you feel, gluteus maximus, I'm sorry, abdominals are nice and tight. Backs are straight if that feels good. Chin is slightly up. Heart chakra is open. Six breaths. Four breaths. Two breaths. We're going to hold this full pose. Breathing our hands inward. We're going to pound our hands from side to side. Option is to cross your feet at your ankles if that feels better. We are working those gluteus maximus. I'm sorry, we're working the obliques as well as the abdominals. Six breaths. Four breaths. Two breaths. Hmm. Finding our pause, breathing our knees towards our chest, backs are straight, connecting our hands to our feet. Hands are in our feet. Let's play with our feet a little bit, up and down. Checking in with body, backs are straight, chin is up. We're going to find that pause. We're going to extend that left leg to the side, feeling that stretch, extending that left leg to the side. Yes, you'll feel that behind your leg and your hamstrings, keeping that heart chakra open, that chin slightly up. Tummies are nice and tight. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling that left leg in as we extend that right leg out to the side. <sighs> this is a boat pose variation, extended boat pose variation, or bear pose variation. Feeling that stretch behind that leg and that right hamstring. Two more breaths. <sighs> Exhaling 
exhale, breathing that leg back in. As we extend that left leg back out to the side, we're going to extend that right leg also out to the side. Optioning to bend the knees if our hamstrings are tight or keep both legs nice and straight, whatever feels best for you and your body. Tummies are tight, heart chakra is lifted, chin is up. Three more breaths. This here is a boat pose variation. They also call it bear pose when a bear holds their feet in their hand. Two more breaths. <laughs> yes, we may fall and have some fun, but fun is in the falling. <laughs> Two more breaths. Keep it up. Exhale, breathing those legs back in. Let's come into that diamond or butterfly pose. Just taking a moment to check in with body, diamond or butterfly. Tummies are tight. Heart chakra is lifted. Chin is up. Taking that nice deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Allowing those shoulders to relax downwards, away from the ears. Slightly hinging at the hips, just a little. Backs are straight, chin is up. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center. We're gonna flow into a cow face legs. Taking one leg under the buttocks, bringing the other leg above. We are in that cow face legs. Tummy's tight, backs are nice elongated. Shoulders are still relaxed away from those ears. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale. As we connect our hands to our feet, using our hands to squeeze our feet, our toes, any pressure points in our feet that feel like it is needed. May we show our feet some love. Eyes are gazed down as we focus on self. Four more breaths. Finding pause in whatever we're doing and just allowing our hands to relax down. Allowing the shoulders to relax down. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles, our cheeks are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. Eyes are gazed downward or closed. Breathing our palms at heart center, coming into that prayer. Maybe our thumbs are touching our sternum, the center of our chest, if that feels good for us. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care and yoga here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we make time for self. And I would like to thank you all for allowing me to practice teaching training and self-care with you here today for it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste. Thank you.